Cheers. Cheers. I'm kind of curious who you think is going to win the election, Obama or Romney? It's a toss-up, my friend. Oh, you think so? You sound very confident it's a toss-up. I'm confident that it's a toss-up. Every poll says it's a toss-up. And opinion polls are not that strongly to be trusted anyway. So you think 50% chance, more or less, that Romney's going to win? 50% chance for Obama? 50 percent Want to put a wager on that? Sure. Conversations in bars aren't always drunken nonsense. And the one you just saw illustrates something that's going to happen to you over and over again after you leave Harvard. You're going to encounter decision after decision, from the trivial to the quite significant, where you have to use statistics. What we want to do in this course is to teach you how to do that thoughtfully, intelligently, responsibly. So statistics isn't just a set of boring, long, complicated mathematical formula. You have to understand who collected the data, where it comes from, how much bias it is, were they Republicans or Democrats collecting it? All of those things make a difference because it's interpreting how and why the data was collected and then figuring out what to do with it that will help you make decisions that will be important throughout your life, both here at Harvard and even in the unimaginable world that lies beyond. So if you don't know how to reason with probability and statistical data, you're gonna be flying blind. And the thing is, in the modern world, you're gonna be flying one way or the other. You're gonna be in situations where you have to use statistical data and rely on it to make decisions. That you will not be able to avoid. So if you're gonna be flying, it's better to be flying with your eyes open and the windshield clear. I think everyone needs to think about how we make sense of data in the real world. If you're trying to figure out who wrote Shakespeare's plays, whether it was Francis Bacon or the Queen, you end up counting words, analyzing frequencies. So even the humanities, where statistics might seem a foreign and cold and unpleasant scalpel to apply, have benefited from its use in the past. So our own past statistical data shows that this course is a lot of fun, but... It won't be easy. We'll make you think. Our goal is to make you laugh and to make your brain hurt all at the same time. There's a reason why your brain is gonna hurt so much, because none of us, not you guys, not me, not my partner in crime, Andy, none of us are good at thinking about probability and statistics. We just ain't built for it. But there's no way around developing the skills needed to think about probability and statistics intelligently in modern society. So we're gonna give you those skills, and it's gonna hurt, but don't worry, it'll hurt good.